so back in my country, you know, back in the days, mm -hmm. my mom and my grandma would have a wooden spoon, right? Right. And they would be just beating this thing. Like, wow, so just beating it yes. like that? And then every they cover it and then they go back at it again. And beat it. So you get that texture. Oh. That's really good. And what what's your signature dish? What? My signature dish is oil dam. And I'm a Grenadian. Yes. Grenadian come out for the oil dam every Saturday, every Thursday. Four. By four, five o'clock is done. Yes. The cooking is so dear to I my heart. I could see that, I could see that. Miss Earl here, cause she call it cuckoo. 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 All right, so she gonna make that for us. Yes, guys, so right now I'm in Toronto and Oakwood, just here to check out the Erna kitchen to see what they're cooking up in the kitchen. Yeah, man, she bringing the spice to Toronto from the Spice Island, Grenada. Yeah. All right, guys, so right here I'm um, with Erla's kitchen. Erla's kitchen. Yeah. Nice. So she's preparing some dish right now. And uh, what are you preparing? Right so, here I have some kingfish. Kingfish? Yeah, so I fry them. I like using the pot. To me, I get a better feel of, you know, the yes. food comes out a bit better than all those big machines. Right. So I like using the pot. So I will fry them dry, mm -hmm. and then I make a nice gravy over here with some okra. Wow. And so after that, I put it in there and let it simmer a little bit. Nice. Bring you back home, right? Bring me back right to Grenada. For right sure. to Grenada. For nice, sure. nice guys. Look at this. And then right here you have some fish that you season up. That's a season up. So what kind of fish is this you well, have here? It's kingfish and snapper. Oh, Red yes. snapper and kingfish. Okay. So what kind of season you have on it? So I have garlic. Mm -hmm. I have big thyme. Yes. And I have something they call some cilantro, cilantro and some yes. shadow penny with some black pepper. Okay, nice. So nice. simple, but uh, and some pimento pepper. Pimento so, pepper. Pimento pepper. Okay. So with the pimento pepper, I crush it with the seed because you know the flavor is in the seeds. Yes. Of those peppers. So yeah. That yeah. is well marinated. So as a Grenadian, we some people do it different, but we normally dip with fish. I season some flour here. Oh. Okay. Some garlic powder some um, black pepper right and um, a little tip of salt yes just to make sure before I put it in the oil nice so you get an extra coat but then it still remain moist inside right yes yes and it give it that flavor and it too. give it that flavor too look at that guys nice wow and this is the kingfish that's the kingfish right here. So how long does it fry for? How long you fry for? I fry for about three minutes on each side until it's oh, golden okay. brown. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Nice. Nice. Because you gotta cook with love. Exactly. If you don't cook with love, forget it. Exactly. Exactly. That's one of my me that joy of cooking. I have to cook with love. Yes. And I, I I put my hands in my food. Yes. Like some people will, you know, I, I had a lady helping me one time and she was using a spoon and saying no. You're marinating, you have to massage it. With your hands. All the seasoning get in there. Yes. I put my hands in my food. Right, nice. Yeah, I'm going to um, start some cuckoo. Cuckoo? Yes. yes. As they say, cuckoo is um, suntanio? Yes, you may can refer to it as yes. suntanio yes. for sure. Miss Earl here, because she call it cuckoo. 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 All right, so she's going to make that for us. So I use a whisk, and the reason why I'm using a whisk, I have coconut milk here. Okay, you have coconut milk? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I had some of the liquid one and I add some powdered one to it. This is very strong, so I dilute it with water. Okay. Yeah. So right now, what are you making? I'm going to make cuckoo. Oh, so cuckoo. cuckoo is made out of coconut milk. Okay. I don't know how other cultures do it, but we Grenadians, yes. it's made out of coconut milk. Okay. And I use coconut oil when I cook, because I like the flavor of coconut oil. Coconut oil. oil. Right, okay. so. Yes, but coconut I, oil gives that flavor. Right, so in a pot here, I'm gonna put some coconut oil. Nice. 
in there. I'm gonna add some pimento pepper and some onion. So right here you have some pimento. Pimento pepper. Pimento pepper and yeah. some onion. And some onion. Yeah. Nice. I will add some garlic. So right here you have some garlic. Mixed garlic, yeah. Bell pepper to that. Oh, nice. So it's just, the fat is so flavorful right here, right now. You can see all those vegetables and all those. Oh. Okay, yeah, that is very timely to flavor it up. So it doesn't lump and it doesn't get too hard because you don't want too much of a hard consistency. You just want it to be, you know, so at least you could make a ball out of it. Yes, yes. Right? Yes. Yes. people out here watching what would you want to tell them i would say visit Earl's kitchen right. at 477 oakwood avenue your palettes we will open your palettes with all the flavors from the spice island of grenada you will love it take it from me all right so how long you been here a year and a little bit a few months oh, okay okay in, the, in this restaurant in this restaurant yes so did you have like a restaurant before or how what make you start up this um, no, restaurant? I used to cook at my house on the weekend. Oh. And my nice. kids will put it out on social media. Yeah. And people will place their order. So every Saturday, yeah. I will have oil down, mm -hmm. roti, baked goods. Mm. So people will order and they come pick up. After COVID hit, I slow it down for a bit. Okay. And then after COVID kind of subside, I opened this restaurant. Wow. So I've been doing it at my house for about seven to eight years. Seven to eight years yes. at your home? At my home. I so I can see you bring, you, wow. you're bringing the spice from the Spice Island to Canada. Definitely. Pure yes. spice. Oh gosh. Huh? And what, what's your signature dish? What? My signature dish is oil dump. And I'm a Grenadian. Yes. Grenadian come out for the oil dump every Saturday, every Thursday. Four. By four, five o'clock is done. Wow. So now I have to start doing more and more and more. Wow. So oil dung, a curry crab and dumpling with corn is the two main dish that just wow. go crazy. Keep selling, yes. Keep selling every day. If I do wow. it every day, it's done. Wow. People came in now from Whitby yesterday at 8.30 and still didn't get food and I felt bad, you know, wow. because they're seeing all those videos. So for me to um, keep my customer, 
and make them happy mm -hmm. i have to do the right thing by just continue to share that's true that's true and what time you open i open every day at around 12 12 30. and then what time you close i close by 8 8 30 during it from tuesday to thursday and on saturday friday night we have wings night yeah. so we stay till morning saturday night we have karaoke night what? so we stay till morning what? so Yes. So, so on the weekend you open later? Yes, then. I open later. But and during then, the week for food, the kitchen will close by 8. Okay. And so like in, on the weekends they could get food same way like... Yeah. Same as how they want. They could get their fish, they yeah. could get their oil. Oh, no, on the weekend we have a set menu. Okay. So the, what the menu is, is mm -hmm. what it is. Okay. We don't go past that. Okay. So because oil dong takes a while to cook. Yeah. It, it cooks, it's a, it's, a, it's a meal that cook. It's easy to cook, but it's the prepping that takes time okay. right so so i make three four five pots wow. on a weekend and wow. it's and it's gone so people will call from friday night yes to ask can you save this can you save this i'm coming from whitby i'm coming from Oshawa. i'm coming from hamilton so i i do because you know yes they, they want it and they love it and so and, the, and the other culture a, a lot of other culture mm -hmm. that surrounding areas are yes. coming in and Loving, uh, not just Grenadian, not, not just Grenadian. Grenadian. Yes. No, I mean I, I do some jerk, so I cater for everybody. Yeah, I mean everyone. I do pasta. I do different kind of food. So yes. um, anybody come in, there will be something that on the on the station that they will enjoy. That's that nice. I know. Yes. Yes. Cooking is so dear to I my heart. I could see that. I could see this cornmeal that I'm using mm -hmm. is coarse. Course, course yeah. meaning it's rough. Yes. Like if I'm making porridge, mm -hmm. I will use the fine one, right? Okay. But when you're making the cuckoo, mm -hmm. we use this the one that's more coarse. Okay. Yeah. So to avoid lumps, like my mom used to do, like yes. she's from the top, right? Ah. And she just slowly put it in so you avoid the lump. Yes. So you don't you don't put all at once. You just no. slowly put it slowly in. Slowly put it in. Nice. You have to keep stirring it. Yes, you gotta keep stirring it because you don't want it to get any lump or stick to the pot. Yes. And the good thing about this too, next day what you can do if you have leftovers, mm -hmm. you could slice them, you know? Slice it? And deep fry them. Oh. They're really flavorful. Yes, it's very tasty. Wow. So I'm gonna just let it stay here and mellow out a little bit. So right here, you put the, all the fish that you fry. Yes, I fry. Into the so I put it in the bronze stew. Oh. So that goes well with the cuckoo. Nice. Nice. See that, guys? I do have helpers. They'll come in later. Yeah. Because I know I come in in the morning to make sure the food is done the way it's supposed to be done. And then I have a few people that will come in anything after 2, 3 o'clock yes. to help me with the cash, to help with the bar and to help me sell while I do prep for tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow is another big day. Okay. So it never stops in Rose's yes. kitchen. That's what I realized. Always going. And you have a bar too, right? Yeah, so I have a bar, yes. And what you do, you do karaoke? You we said? do karaoke every Saturday. Yes. And we have wings night every Friday night. Okay. So after food is done, then we start with the wings and fries. Okay. So See? a few people come in, we have a DJ that comes in, you know, a DJ, in-house DJ. That's Exterminator comes in every Friday night. seasoning and vegetables mm. nice. look at that guys look at that wow 
Okay. 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 You yes. have to make sure corn yes. is properly cooked. Yes. Because if not, it can make someone sick. Yes. That's yeah. good. That's good. So back in my country, now back in the days, mm -hmm. my mom and my grandma would have a wooden spoon, right? Right. And they would be just beating this thing. Like, wow, so just beating it yes. like that? And then every they cover it and then they go back at it again. And beat it. So you get that texture. That's oh. really good. But you see, nothing like the good old The good big, old days. Big, you know, especially from your mom cooking or grandma cooking yeah. it, you know. Those are the best. And sometimes what people do, they will add um, green peas and peas to it, mm. or okra to it. Okay. To give it a different flavor, a different texture, based on what you're looking for, right? Right, right. But I make it plain because most of the customer that comes in, they have it with um, the brown stew fish, which already have okra and carrots and stuff to it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Since I've been here, you've been busy. Yeah. <laughs> busy. I've been busy. Busy. You know, so. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. A Thank good thing. you. It's and a good then, thing. you know, the food must be good and the food. But must I would be like good. for you to try my food before you leave. Sure. 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 All right. Of course. So, so that's the brown stew. Okay. This is some rice and peas. Mm -hmm. Over here, I have some curry crab with dumpling and corn. That goes fast as well. Nice. That's on last. I have over here some a seafood boil. Wow. Look at the legs. I have a macaroni and cheese pie over here. I do have some white rice, some steamed vegetables, some jerk chicken, some ox steel, and some stewed turkey wings. Nice. Yeah. 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 For some reason, I don't put um, the flour on it. Oh, you don't put the flour on it? Because okay. I escalate it. Oh, okay, yeah. I'll get some onions and some carrots and stuff. That's all they like, it's not on yes. So I do that with the king fish, it's the broth. Yeah. So right now, what are you doing right here now? I just rounded it out. So it's a portion size, right? So oh, when okay. someone comes, I don't have to be cutting when it's busy. So yes. I just wrong it up in a bowl like this. Oh, nice. It's hot. I mean, back then I see my parents and then grandparents and I used to use their hands and they're rolling it. Oh, but, but it's know, hot. But it's hot. <laughs> I probably do that, I don't know. I don't. Oh, okay. So when a customer comes, they just get one of this. Okay, and you could serve it with the, 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 the fish. Yeah, I'll, I'll play yours. I put one there. Okay, nice. And then Nice. We're gonna see how I am. Yes. And then right here you have your snapper frying. Yeah. yeah. Kind of so like for all those people who wanna find you, where can they find you on the social media? We have an Instagram page, we have a Facebook page, Earl's Kitchen there. And um visit us on we have a website. Come visit us on the website. We do catering as well, so you can visit the website, see what we have available, let's see our prices, uh, give us a call, and we're here, we'll cover all your needs. Cooking is a joy to me, so I'll make sure it's special every time. So you're saying a lot of people out here just started to reach out to you? Yes, a lot of people do. I have, a, a, actually this morning, a few people came in early, and they're giving good credit to a good friend of mine named Kem Jones, he actually, um, Grenadian, live in Grenada. He have a, a live um, show that he does every morning and every evening. So he, he put it out there. He actually featured me this week in, in his message and um, it reached the Grenadian people. And I wanna say thank you to Cam for um, picking me up out there. I know, I know you love what I do and I know as much as we don't get to speak like we used to because I'm quite busy here. But we'll connect very soon, we'll connect. 
and thanks again for actually helping me to spread the joy of cooking from Ola's Kitchen. Wow, look at that guys. Look at that. Wow. Mm. Look at this guys. Look at that. As we in Jamaica would call this ton meal or turn meal. We call you call it uh cuckoo. cuckoo. Alright. And then you know we have with okra here and with carrot and um nice fried snapper yeah man i'm right in the kitchen trying it and taste it so right now i'm gonna try the snapper look at it mm -hmm. nice well seasoned guys well seasoned tastes real good mm -hmm. and it's fresh right off the the fire just hot. Mm. Oh gosh. See, I don't do too much talking when I'm eating, but mm. Mm. now I'm gonna try the cuckoo. Alright? I'm gonna try the cuckoo. Cut this guy. We know it as turn calm you. But mm-hmm. The taste all the spice, the onion, the pepper. Yes. And that that the spice that you put in it, the, the pepper, what kind of pepper you put it in? The, huh? the pimento pepper. Pimento pepper. You could taste that. Mm -hmm. Yes, guys. First, I'm trying it this way. Tastes good. Earl tastes real nice. Thank you. This is the first time I'm trying it this way. Yeah. It's real good. Yes, the first time, but it tastes real good. I haven't eat turn corn meal in like probably over twenty something years. A lot of people don't. And when I opened this restaurant and I start making things, yes, people were shocked. Wow. They're like, wow, you make cuckoo? Wow. I say yes. Guys, she bring the island back to Canada, Toronto, to Oakwood. The spice. Yeah man, you can taste the spice inside of the even the, the onion and all those seasons that she put in it. Flavor. Mm. Look at this. Look at this guys. Look at this. Yes guys, so the food, the food was so delicious. Well first and foremost I would like to thank this gentleman for coming and making my day and spending a little bit of time in the kitchen with me just looking at how things has been done beyond the scene and not just coming and buy a plate and sit and eating it but actually looking at what I do and helping me to spread the word so I appreciate that and I would like you guys to come down to this kitchen and try it out every Friday we have cuckoo we have a seafood Friday Saturdays you're sure to get your oil down your pillow and your soup so we're here for you okay Thank you very much. Yes, and thank you very much to have me here and to the showcase amazing food that you're cooking. See you guys in the next video.